Are you a smarmy, officious douchebag and hate people? Or do you just enjoy life a little too much? Do you enjoy listening to the same three commercials being broadcast in a loop approximately 300,000 times a day like Marxist propaganda? Well, there's a place for you here, working at a game store. Hello, everybody. Keith Croft, along with Bobby Payne, bringing you the best of Game Crazy at the Game Crazy Selling Skills Challenge. That's where talent, skills, knowledge, and great value come together to create the ultimate games destination. That's right, Keith. We're going to see some fierce competition out there today. And now, please rise for the singing of our national anthem. Because today's game isn't about scoring points, getting kills, or saving the universe from alien domination. No, Keith, today's game is all about selling. That's right, Bobby, but the kind of selling we're talking about isn't high pressure, some loud, obnoxious pitch. You want that? Go work at GameStop. Identifying needs, building relationships, and maximizing the gaming experience for our guests. And it's all done by focusing on five key selling areas. Bullshit pre-orders, bullshit membership cards, bullshit magazine subscriptions, bullshit service plans, and, uh... So let's go down to the game floor where Zelda Scott will take us through our keys to the game. There's three keys. Always be closing. Oh. Thanks, KC and BP. I'm down here in the his house. You know, the heezy. <laughs> oh, with the GC posse to get the 411 on Game Crazy. Or the Game Crizzle or the local GC. This is like a gamer's ride, dog. And if you sell them the right ride, you got a better chance of selling some 20-inch chrome rims later. Know what I'm saying? Or like selling a grape soda to go with that Popeye's fried chicken. You should talk like me to all the black customers so they know you got mad gangster cred, dog. And speaking of games, Game Crazy's got all the fly new game titles, but we've also got the mad hookup when it comes to used games. And they can't hate on our used games. Because I will straight up bust a cap in your dome. Come with a 90-day guarantee, and they cost less. Booyah! <laughs> now, for the real hardcore players, the ones that are crazy tight with the GC, we've got the MVP card. The MVP card means upfront revenue for Game Crazy. It'll bring in fat ducats. Values, special discounts and exclusive tournaments for the players. Trades are where Game Crazy makes crazy dollars and players can get mad values. Oh my god, even Flava Flav would say he crossed the line with this performance, or he'd be madly in love. And finally, pre-orders. Now this is for the real serious players. The ones who've got to get the new games first and beat them before anyone else. Yeah, you should always push the pre-orders really hard because CDs are notoriously hard to manufacture. They never make enough of them. And they've got a reservation at the hottest game spot in town, Game Crazy. Well, that's it from down on the floor, y'all. Let's kick it back up to my niggas in the booth. Represent! Peace out. Uh... Thanks, Zelda. Someone call human resources. Let's get ready to rumble as we begin the game crazy sales challenge with hardware sales. Our tale of the tape, Ryan's got the reach advantage, but Anne's a cagey veteran I wouldn't count her out. Hi, welcome to Game Crazy. What up, Shorty? Hey, what's this you interested in today? Um... Well, it's my son's birthday, and I'm looking for some video games, but I'm really not sure what he wants. All right, what system does he play? Oh, and here he goes, asking the right questions. He's off to a good start, Keith. And look at Tom back there setting the pick. That customer is wide open. Ryan could go all the way! Sorry, I'm just all brand new to this. No, it's fine. Basically, there's three platforms to pick from. You have an Xbox, a PlayStation 2, and a GameCube. But to figure out which one is right for you, I'm gonna have to ask you a couple questions. So is dad still in the picture or? He's turning 12 and he's in middle school. Okay, and what kind of games does he like to play? His favorite is driving games. All right, how about DVD movies? The critical movie question. Ah, the kids love the movies, Keith. Oh, wait, coach is coming out of the dugout. Looks like they're bringing Hoffman in out of the bullpen to close this deal. How about online play? You know, I'm not so comfortable with that. Well, you know, actually, it's pretty safe and secure, but I understand your concerns. But he did a nice job of keeping things moving. How about friends? Will you have friends over? Absolutely. He has two or three buddies that I know he'd have over. All right, so based on what you're telling me, I'd probably recommend a Sony PlayStation 2. It has some great racing titles. You can play up to four players at once. You can play DVD movies. And it's got Ridge Racer! Oh, wait, sorry, that joke has expired. I had to go that route. Ah, uh, great suggestion. What a lucky kid. Wow, sounds great. I think that's what I need. Oh, it's a great choice. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is set you up with some accessories, a DVD remote, a wireless controller, and we're going to have to get you some memory cards to get you started. Perfect. Okay. 
And there's the add on. He's really selling the ultimate gaming experience. All right. Let's go down to the floor with Zelda, who's standing by with Ryan. Rye Dog, that was the bomb diggity, my friend. <laughs> How'd you do it, dog? Well, Zelda, actually, it was really simple. I just found out what she was looking for. I needed to know who was going to be playing the system, what kind of games her son was going to be playing, what she could afford. Oh, and not talking like a brutally offensive Wigger stereotype helped. I suggested the right system with the right accessories built trust and a relationship, and after that, it was easy. Well, you certainly made it look that way, dog. There you have it. Back to you, KC. Oh, thank you, Zelda. And now, on to our next challenge. When high margins and great values come together, it's used games. These used games are dead. I want the good games, the Glengarry games. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Game Crazy. What can I help you find? Do you guys have that uh, new Madden 2004? Madden fan, huh? Madden, a very popular title. It certainly is, Keith. Yeah, Bobby, you might as well push a used copy of Madden because the series itself hasn't evolved since about 2001. Yeah, I don't know about you. It sounds sketchy. It could be broken. Well, no. You know, our used games play just as well as our new games, and they come with a 90-day guarantee. So if it doesn't play, you just bring it on back to me. Yeah, no, I still don't know. You know what? Why don't we go try it out? What, are you calling me a liar, dipshit? Come over here. Yeah, right. A girl who plays video games. I was buying this up to now, but come on. So, what'd you think? Looks good. I'm hooked on this used thing. Sold! The demo always clinches it. Great. Well, if you like that, I've also got ESPN football used and NCAA Bring football. Bring them on. Zelda, what's her secret? Hey, girlfriend. What's the dilly, yo? Well, Zelda, used games are just a great value. When I told him about his savings and the 90-day guarantee, it just really got his interest. The demo was just to reassure him he was getting a quality product. That was a clincher. Well, big ups to you, girl. That was off the heezy for sheezy. Okay, money? As always, Zelda, you're a lawsuit Zelda. just waiting to happen. And now let's get back to the fundamentals with trades. <laughs> Yes, trades. Instead of learning one, work a game crazy. Okay, so one new copy of Ninja Gaiden. Bet you're going to try to beat this today, huh? Nah, I figured I'd just nail it to a wall and stare at it for a few hours. I usually buy my stuff over at Best Buy, but I figured I'd give you guys a try. A possible big box convert? Hey, now you shouldn't talk about Gale that way. Oh, so you're new to game crazy. Do you know about our whole buy play tray thing? No, what's that? Well, it's really what we're all about. It sounds like you're the kind of guy who likes to beat a game as soon as you get it. So this is perfect for you. You could take all those games that you've already beaten, trade them in. Guest starring Tara Reid is Gale. That you want. I mean, I can take the games I've got at home, bring them in, trade them in, and get new games for less? Your words are strange and unfamiliar to me. What magic is this? I'm definitely coming here to get all my games. Great. Well, in that case, you're definitely going to need an MVP card. MVP? Did I hear that right? Zelda, what's going on down there? You heard it right, k Dog. Gale is getting extremely jiggy with it by going for the MVP. This shit Let's just got real. Happens. So what's the MVP card? Well, the MVP card is our membership card, and it's made for hardcore gamers. It'll save you some serious cash. And it only costs $30. He's gonna have to do the math for him. Well, you know the, all the old games that you have at home? Mm -hmm. You bring them in, and with an MVP card, you get 10% more value for your trade. Oh, baby, that woman is fine. Mm. You want to buy in the store that's used. Okay, so how much is that going to run me? Well, the MVP card is um, it's about 20 bucks. Eh, I don't know. Well, look, you're a serious gamer, so you're already going to spend a lot of cash here. And um, this way, as an MVP, you can buy more and play more. Well, that makes sense, but... Look, Nimrod, are you a hardcore gamer or not? Just buy the fucking card! Exclusive for MVP customers, and we have exclusive game tournaments only for MVP. Exclusive? What, uh, what kind of tournaments? Actually, we have a Soul Calibur tournament coming up this weekend. Soul Calibur. Must resist. All right, you got me. She clinches it with the tournament. This guy is psyched about game crazy. Sign me up for the tournament and give me one of the MVP cards, too. Great, you'll be glad you did. Zelda, she really came up with a big play there. You know it, KC. Give it up, G-Unit. You showed some mad skills there. First with the trades and then the MVP. You go, girl. 
How'd you do it? Well, <laughs> Zelda, men become docile creatures who are highly susceptible to suggestion when offered the chance to play Soul Calibur. Guess about the trading. Once they realize how much farther their gaming dollars go, they never go back to the big box. And that 